Good morning and welcome to All Up Mankind. It's the 9th of September. It's a beautiful morning here in spring, here in Australia. As you can see, the fish are all happy in the background there. So I, I always give it a, a couple of times a year, a potassium permanganate um, wash and dip. So today's video, this is what I will be doing. I've got my coffee here. So once I've finished my morning coffee, I've just been to the corner shop to grab a quick coffee. You can see my pond in the background there. Fish are all nice and happy. Like I said, it's a beautiful day here today. You'll have to excuse the, um, the glare of the sun. Um, I'll get back to you once I've got everything ready and I'll explain what I'm doing and um, how much I use as well. I've got everything set up. I've got a spare air pump there with the dome which I'll pop in the pond just to provide extra oxygen to the water. Potassium permanganate does strip all the oxygen from the water so I always try to add additional air as well to the, to the water. So I've got two bottle drains going there as well. I'll walk you around now and I'll show you the process, what I do. Fish are all happy. They're thinking, what the hell is he doing today? What chemicals is he putting in the water today? So I'll just walk around the pond here, just to the back of the pond. And I'll try and do everything with one hand. So all I do, this is just my spare, my spare bottom drain. It's a 320 dome with a 80 um, watt air supply. So I'll just pop this in the bottom of the pond just to add extra air. So bear with me, I'll try and do it with one hand. I should be able to do it. There you go. I'll just lower it down to the bottom with a piece of string. It's now on the bottom. I will then turn all the pump and all the filters off um, I don't let the um, PP go through the filter system. I do once or twice a year, but this time of the year, it's just a cleaning process before summer. So I'll just go through the process. I'll just um, turn this air pump on now. And that should start blowing up more air as well, you see. So you can see there's um, plenty of oxygen in the water there. which will assist the fish as well. It'll just, um, you see, it strips all the oxygen from the water. The fish know what's coming, so they always dive to the bottom and hang around the, um, the air filters. Pump off now. So yep, yeah, just turn the main pump off. That'll stop all that. I'll also, um, because I've disengage the main pond I need to go into this chamber here and just turn the bottom drains off from the pond into my vortex so just bear with me I'll use one hand just bear with me so I just you can see there the bottom drain so that's what inlet coming from the bottom drain from the main pond I'll turn that one off that'll just stop all the water from the main pond <coughs> going into the, um, the filter box also the second one is down here turn the vortex off these two drains here these are from just the inlets inlet jets into the side of the pond Turn that one off. I'll also go around here as well and just turn off this switch here. Turn the wrong one. This switch here. And that's also the pump which I have on my skimmer box. So as you can see there, the water's, the air's coming, the water's getting moved around, churned up. So um, there should be plenty of oxygen in there now. All the water is turned off. Just got one more, so we've got the inlets from the pond, the bottom drains, which lead into the vortex. They're turned off. That one's turned off. Just got one more to do.
So bear with me again, I'll do it with one hand. I'll just turn the last valve off and this just supplies the um, two jets which run probably about a meter down along this back wall here. So this just feeds directly into the um, filter box. I'll turn those jets off now, I'll try and do it with one hand if I can. Bear with me. Right, that's turned off now. So now there'll be no water at all from the main pond getting into the filter box. Right. <clears throat> I'll take you now into my little storeroom. Let's excuse the mess. Um, I've been busy in there the last few days. So this is my little storeroom. The most important thing with potassium permanganate is getting the measurements correctly. This is not for everybody's pond. This is just for my pond, which I found works for me. I've done it numerous times over the years. So please, whichever potassium permanganate you are using, read the instructions and um, don't just go for what I say. So as you see there, scales is on zero. This is my measuring tab here, which is a, an old tab. I pop that on there and that weighs um, 30 grams. So for my pond, I want 120 grams of potassium permanganate for a 37,000 litre pond. So we've got 30 grams for the cup. I've already got it measured out, the potassium permanganate, which is, I just buy it online off eBay. So it should be a rot about 150. So yeah, 150, 151. I'll just take a little bit out. Just bear with me. I'll just take a little bit out so I need to get exactly to 150 so there it is now oops 150 that should be 150 a bit more so there you go 150 grams so then I get my obviously 120 and with the weight of the container so 120 grams of potassium permanganate I've also got some hot water set up in the bowl here with a little small pump. So all I do then is just add the um, 120 grams to there and just leave it in there for um, for a few minutes just to um, get rid of all the crystals before I um, place it in my pond. Just a little pump I use, a little rechargeable USB pump does the job for little things like this, little tricks. Yeah, the PP is um, bubbling away nicer there. I'll leave it for another few minutes before applying it to my main pond. Hydrogen peroxide, it's 50% and I use, for my pond, I use 500 mil. So half a litre of hydrogen peroxide, 50%, and this will neutralize the PP if the fish get into any problems you're aiming for at least two hours the water should stay purple that should be about enough now all those crystals should have um, evaporated into the water so I'm just about to um, put the PP into the water now this is the way I do it just it's all crystallized now in the water just gently walk along the pond especially with the air, where the air domes are I go on the pond, just put little bits in the water. It soon um, um, distributes along throughout the pond, just with all the air. The air, air domes are quite powerful, so it, it's, it soon will go around the pond and uh, give it a bit of a swish in the water. You'll see the pond, you'll see the fish. They will probably now scarper to the bottom until they get used to it. <clears throat> usually after about, <clears throat> excuse me, usually after about 30 minutes, you'll see the fish then get used to it and then they usually start swimming to the, to the window again, the glass window. But that's going through the pond nicely now. As you see there, it's slowly, slowly, 
turning purple. And see it there. Slowly going to the skimmer box. <coughs> Doesn't take long, a few minutes and then all the main pond will be will be purple. You see now it's gone it's gone purple quite quickly. The fish are usually they'll be at the bottom. You can see them just down there now. So the process is, I'll leave this in now for, if it takes two hours before it turns brown, and then I'll just neutralize it with the hydrogen peroxide. If it goes brown within an hour, then that's fine. I will do the same again, just um, neutralize it with the hydrogen peroxide. But um, this also gives it a good, um, just polishes the water before the summer. And it's also um, good as well, you see it cleans the fish gets all the bugs out the mucus coat but it is as at the end of the day it is a chemical so you have to be careful with it and that's why now i will do things in the garden sit around the pond for the next two hours and make sure um, the fish are okay any signs of stress any signs of conflict at the top flashing at the top jumping trying to get more oxygen breathing then i will neutralize it with it, the hydrogen peroxide but there's plenty of air in there and it's not too hot today even though it's probably about 15 degrees now it's not too bad i would not recommend doing this in the peak of the summer when the oxygen gets stripped from the water with the heat as well and um, so it's a good thing just to do it when it's early morning if you're going to do it in the summer when it's peak summer i would suggest doing it early morning about four or five o'clock in the morning so then while the water is nice and nice and cool Right, I will get back to you shortly and I'll let you know the progress. So it's been 15 minutes now. Um, fish are doing well. They're still at the bottom hiding because they always uh, know something's going to happen. But everything's going, going so far to plan. Um, yeah, just give you a bit of an update. I'm just sat here now just watching, so I'll you know be around the garden now be around the fish pond the next two hours just making sure they're okay it's now been 30 minutes and um, water still purple and um, fish are doing quite well they keep coming to the window every few seconds for a bit of a look they probably think they're getting fed um but everything's going to plan um, i like to um, sit here and keep my eye on the fish and any um, signs of any distress or they're panicking, trying to get more oxygen or, you know, coming towards the surface a lot. I tend to neutralize it again. The water is still purple. As you can see, it cleans all your pond as well. All the brown scum here is um, clean all the pond. Cleans all the um, bacteria inside the pond. Gives you a bit of a polish. But it's all going good so far. Water's still purple. The, uh, the fish are doing fine. You can probably just see them at the bottom there. Yep. So everything's doing okay at present. So it's now been um, one hour since I um, put the shrimp in the water. As you can see, the fish are quite happy. Coming to the window swimming around they're not swimming erratic or they're not coming towards the top for to get further oxygen they're quite placid just swimming around coming to um, see me at the window you can see them there yeah they don't appear stressed at all water is still um still purple yeah, as you can see the fish there they're coming towards the window now coming up the water's still purple, plenty of brown scum on the top of the water, which means that the, um, the potassium permanganate is doing its job and cleaning all the, um, the nasties from the water and getting rid of all the sludge and cleaning, 
purifying the water. As you can see there, the fish are all okay. So I've actually um, come inside for a cup of tea. Um, I'm sat in my office and as you can see, even when inside, I'm still monitoring the fish from my CCTV camera, which is directly over the pond. Um, so yeah, I'm watching the fish constantly, like I said, for two hours. Whether I'm inside or outside, I'll be monitoring and make, making sure um, the health of the fish is priority. So I'm at the um, two hour mark now. Water is still purple. Fish is still doing fine. So what I'll do shortly is I will then um, add some hydrogen peroxide and I'll show you it changing back to normal. So I've got my 500 ml of hydrogen peroxide, which I'm going to add to the water now. All I do, same again, just pour it down by the air, just little bits at a time along the edge of the pond. The air will administer the um, hydroperoxide throughout the water evenly. It usually takes about 10 minutes for it to go clear. So in three, two, one. Fish are all happy. They are now back eating. Water is beautiful and clear. Well, that's about a wrap now. I hope you've enjoyed my video. As you can see, fish are nice and happy. It's still a beautiful morning today. So please give me a thumbs up like and subscribe from me and my little fishes beautiful day bye for now and we'll catch you on the next video